What a night here in Florence, Alabama, and welcome to our GSC Digital Recap as number three, West Georgia, comes to town and is upset by number 18, UNA, 24-23. Don Russell in the booth here with Coach Rick Rhodes. And, Rick, I tell you, I got to take a breath. What a fabulous ball game here tonight. It, it was everything we thought it would be and more, partner. It was, a, it was a classic. There's no question about it. Went right down to the wire. Both teams fought extremely hard. I don't know how you can have a better college football game. I know you one thing we can do. There were plenty of highlights. Let's take a look at those highlights right now, beginning in the first half. Really uh, a lot of field goal action, and that's not really what anybody wanted early, but no, it was, was uh, UNA got on the board first. Yeah, they did. There's Hanky with a 40, about a 47-yarder, but uh, West Georgia will answer. Jackson with a 29-yard run to put the uh, Wolves up 7-3. to three. Little one hand catch right over the middle there. Really a great concentration and a nice catch. At that time, I think that was Palmer that makes that catch yes, for a, a big first down and leads to a field goal by, by Heck. First of many by him. Kind of seesawed back and forth here at the beginning. Uh, a lot of, you know, kind of sparring on both sides. Uh, kind of ill-advised throw right there. Big interception right there that time by, uh, by Carter to set uh, West Georgia up again and it will lead to another field goal by Heck. Those teams wanted touchdowns too, didn't they? And this will be another turnover. You know, both teams had their, their moments did. of turning the ball over. There's a big inter sales right here, uh, interception here, excuse me, by Sales. And we'll set West Georgia up again for another field goal. And you know, one of the stories of this game is that North Alabama was, was uh, able to force West Georgia to kick field goals instead of go for touchdowns. And that would, would loom big. Here's a little flea flicker, ill-advised throw right here. And, and Philbert Marshall will pluck that thing right out of the out of the skies and bring it back to stop a West Georgia drive. Well, he had a big game, did Marshall. This will lead to a score right here. You can see Tucker turns it north and south right there, finds that goal line and gets UNA on the board with their first touchdown. Another kind of layup there right in the middle, this time picked off by Rivers to stop another drive. This is a but, big run yeah. here. Well. But West Georgia will answer. Franks, I think it was uh, 60, 66, 67 yards yep. to put West Georgia ahead. Rather, at the time, it looked kind of comfortably. But UNA will answer. Tucker with the off tackle, a quarterback sweep. Great determination, gets in the end zone. Good blocking at the point of attack. Now you've got to come, young kid coming here's in. The young, great cut right there by, by Blake Hawkins to get that ball in the end zone to give UNA the lead but by that, that extra point. point. Mm -hmm. And it'll all come down to this. 22 yard field goal that's gonna slide off to the right at the very end and UNA will have a hard fought one point win. You can see it again from the end zone right here. Just pushed it a little bit to the right. This was after three Bobby Wallace timeouts or times out to freeze the kicker. Will Hall is Trying to get the call, but to no avail. And you can see this is college football, folks. Heartbreak on one side and ecstasy on the other. And uh, that story pretty well tells it. The stats, you you know, West Georgia had a had a pretty sizable advantage in the in the statistics as far as yardage. But the stat that counts tonight is that one right at the bottom. Yep, no doubt 24, about it. West Georgia 23. That's it for sure. That wraps it up. Our GSC original. Recap here from Florence, Alabama. UNA upsets West Georgia 24-23.